Okay, hit your dance then. Hey, hey. Where are you from, Russia? Oh, Dagestan. Yeah, Russia. <laughs> I remember uh, one of them niggas was, uh, was it wasn't Khabib, it was one of the other ones. He was telling, was telling Daniel Cormier, send your son to Dagestan for a year. And Cormier was like, no, man, I'm not sending my son to Dagestan for a year. What the fuck? <laughs> bro, the whole time the niggas like, bro, like he's like, we'll make him, we'll get him right. Like we'll make him make champion. Him real man. Yeah. Like, like we'll make him. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Them niggas been coming over here whooping ass. Yeah. They been coming over here getting, getting straight to it, bro. Now they different, bro, because they train different, bro. They, that's that, that wrestling, that grappling shit, bro. I seen a video, bro. Shit was so foul. It was like they was training on like the mats. It was mat drills. Yeah, they don't fight to win. They fight to hurt. They they fight. They, fight they they beat you. Like it's this this the it's definition a of game. It's a physical game. It's a definition of I'm I I own you type shit. Like I don't want to punch you down. Right. Like I want to I want you to know I'm more superior than you. Like yeah. dominate you. I want to dominate you. Have you have you watched the video of the audio from with when, him and Connor uh, with Connor and Khabib Khabib? Yeah, he hate, he really wanted to kill that nigga. Khabib really wanted to kill that nigga, bro. Bro, and Khabib was like... I'm not done with you, bro. He was like, bro, we not finished yet. We, like, not, yeah. we not done. He was like, when I say we done, we done. Yeah. And he was just like, all that shit you was talking, like, bro, like, I, I'm out to prove a point. He was like, then was telling them, bro, like, I'm, I'm here to break you. I'm here to break you. I'm not, I'm not here to break you. And I was like, bro, that break you isn't just, like, mental... That break you, I mean physical. That break you was mental. It's bro. mental. I want to break your mind. I want to break your spirit. I want to break your physical. I want to break your soul. I want to make you second guess ever stepping into this ring ever again. And he did it. He did it, which is why then you get the Connor and Floyd. Then Connor comes back trying to be the top dog, and he still after that Floyd fight, Connor didn't fight for what like almost three years. It was like two or three years, something like that. It was like close to three years. Then he yeah. steps into the ring, ends up breaking his leg. Yep, broke his leg. Now, now that I think he did when he did win a fight though, because he fought, he fought, he fought Cowboy. No, but before that, he fought, uh, he fought Nate Diaz after after Floyd. So the Nate Diaz shit was after Floyd, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty nah, both fights. He had got Nate Diaz out the way way before Floyd. We we'll have to fact check that. Because remember, Floyd's whole thing was kind of McTap out because that was against Khabib. Khabib made him tap. Khabib? I was on some shit. Khabib, let me see. Connor. Let's, let's fact check. Floyd fight. Actually, he fought, he fought Nate before Floyd. Are you sure? Yeah, because the fight, him and him and Wachka's fight was just like rumored. All right, so they fought in 2017, Connor and Floyd. And let's see, Connor and Nate. And you might, yeah, you might be, uh, you, you might be right. Cause I feel like Connor and Nate might have been in 16. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Yeah, Connor, Connor, first Connor, fight Connor. After Floyd was Khabib. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, Connor, yeah, Connor and Nate was, um, yeah, they got those out the way quick. Cause they fought, they fought three times in 2016, bro. Yeah. That's six. So they fought. Well, they fought twice. The second, the second time it got canceled. But the first time they fought was March 5th of 2016. Yep. Nate Diaz won. He submitted him. I remember that. And then the second time they fought was August 20th of 2016, and Connor won in a in a decision. And then he went on to fight Floyd and came back and he fought Khabib. Okay. Because yeah. Khabib, that was Khabib's whole thing. He was just like, bro, like you're not a UFC fighter no more. You change, you different, and I'm gonna prove to you different. All you've been doing is running your mouth, and you think you can fuck with me. Yeah. You can't fuck with me. Yeah, and I'm gonna show you. It that wasn't you even that though. It was Connor was disres Connor was disrespectful, talking about his dad, <laughs> talking about his religion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so and so I mean, and so I get it all went that from too. it went from just like okay, we gonna fight to like that's why he was like I'm gonna break you like all that shit like I'm like you talk about my religion like no like I'm really about to. I'm I'm I will kill if they let me kill you in this ring, dog. I'm killing you, bro. Like, like, like if this is you're lucky this is a sanctioned fight. Because yeah. just because you tap out, 
I'm 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 on your ass. I'm talking about he contr- it was the only yeah, two rounds. Yeah, one of them where it's like, bro, can't nobody in here stop me. Yeah, that's what? why he hopped the fence. Yeah, nigga, I'm I'm with whatever. I'm with everything and anything. Went straight tonight, at bro. his people. Yeah, and bro. Dana's I'm on, I'm, people. I'm on. I'm, I'm on. Yeah, bro. Head, like bro. went straight to Dana. It was just like, bro. Like I think that his adrenaline. If if there's a is there. I don't know if there is. There probably is a way, but like, if there's a way to like measure somebody's adrenaline, I bet his was like through the fucking roof. Oh yeah, off it was scared. Yeah, his adrenaline after that probably, fight. Yeah, but during after like, I bet if you was to talk to him, bro, he probably like really, he probably blacked out. Was like, bro, I like uh, I know what was happening, but yeah. I don't know what was happening. Like he was, just I didn't gone. realize I was, he was doing all gone. that. He was just going. He was just going. Yeah, now, that was that was a. Uh, uh, We're saying all that to that say that was a peak UFC time. Them motherfuckers, it's just different. Yeah. Like, they don't fight just send to win, bro. They fight son, to really just like... son to Dagestan. Three months. And make him make him men. Turn him to champion. <laughs> bro, I ain't gonna cap, bro. If I could go to Dagestan for three months, bro, and, and train, train with... Bro, no, bro, bro, look. No, but back. look, like I was saying, bro, I seen a video, bro. It was a goddamn... <laughs> they were in Dagestan, and it was like... Oh, it was like mat drill. So it's like a whole... They got like a whole... It's, it's like a... I don't want to say it's like a cult, but it's like a facility. It's like training, like... Everybody, if you over there and you fight you miss martial arts, you want to be in their gym. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. they were doing these mat drills, Joe. Mind you, bro, it's like a whole gym of just the blue wrestling mats, dog. When I tell you it's one of the dirtiest things I've ever seen. Like puddles of sweat. These niggas are rolling around. Everybody's wet. Everybody's hot. They're rolling around in puddles of sweat, wrestling the shit. They're sweat. The 40 other niggas sweat. Like I'm talking, about, bro. It was so much sweat that, bro. You know how you ever seen niggas do a slip and slide and they slide on their knees? Never mind. Niggas were doing that, that, bro, sorry. in the sweat. I don't want to go. No yeah, more. bro. It was sick. I ain't go cap. I said, bro, ain't no way. I said, bro, ain't no way that these niggas don't have staph infections, all type of shit, bro. That's that's nasty. I get it. It's ain't nothing about rolling around in another man's sweat, bro. And, I, and I'm not. And I'm not. I'm not talking about. And I get it. Fun. I get it. When you wrestling, it. when you doing stuff like that, you sweat. So it's like, that's, that's part of it. But I'm talking about nigga. It's probably 40 or 50 dudes in the gym on these mats. They all starting out on the ground and you got your partner and you probably doing your shit. You grappling. It's just, it's just puddles of sweat, bro. So much sweat. Niggas were sliding in that bitch like, a, uh, like they did for the soccer when they hit the goal. Goal! Niggas was doing, <laughs> but niggas was doing the double knee slide in the sweat, bro. I'm like, no. Hell no. Nah. Because at first I said, why do you know what? And so I'm reading the comments. They were like, no, that is sweat. They're in that gym working. No, nah, I couldn't. I it's changed, foul, I bro. A puddle of sweat? I changed my mind. You know how much, time. bro? That's, <laughs> that's, that's just. And, you, and who knows, bro? They probably not cleaning that bitch. They coming in the next day. <laughs> bro, I was just about to say. Like, <laughs> that bitch got probably, algae in it. It's probably like an old man, bro. Yeah, bro. With like four teeth. <laughs> sweat is out. And That's Beyonce. Ain't when it? he comes in, yeah, Beyonce, Beyonce's in that one. Because that bastard's the second one. But I'm trying to paint this picture real quick. Okay, so, my, so let my, me. My, my, my. So if you've seen, like, to take it back, the nigga who's probably cleaning that shit up probably looks like the same motherfucker from Austin Powers who was the janitor at the boarding school. Because remember, like, it showed him everybody laughing when he was like, Dad, stand up and take a bow. And his daddy wasn't there. And everybody's laughing. And then they just showed this janitor. And he was like, ah! <laughs> Like, bro, he's pointing at him, bro, but he's only got so many teeth. If you can find that clip, add that picture into what I'm saying, bro, it, it, it'll make sense. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna have to look into that. Bro. I, I, I haven't seen an Austin Powers movie in years, bro. The last one I seen was definitely the one with uh, Beyonce. Bro, that shit just... And you know what's funny? That's the only reason why I used to remember the, uh, the Chili's Baby Back uh, rib commercial. The jingle. Oh, when he was a, oh, my baby. Yeah, baby, that's the that baby, baby. excuse me, bro. That's the only reason I remember the jingle, and that's the only reason I ever wanted to try chilies. And then I was really disappointed when I finally had chilies as an adult, and I was like, bro, this just trash. Like, yeah, like chilies is not a good. Nah, chilies ain't good at all. Um. Okay, 
Okay. <laughs> I re- I remember now that he lo- he definitely lo- he definitely looks like cleaning the gym he, in Dagestan. He definitely looks like a Dagestan janitor. Nigga. That nigga looks like <laughs> that nigga looks like he was in, in both the world wars. God damn it! Like that nigga is old, bro. That's an old man. Yeah, nah, that's not, bro. That's, that's an old motherfucking man, bro. Like. That's what when That's you and when nigga we looked, was talking about oh, like the person cleaning. He looked like Eustace off of Courage the Cowardly Dog, bro. Bro, well, he's been compared to Freddy, Freddy Krueger, Freddy. Krueger. Yeah, I, I can see Freddy Krueger. Except he doesn't have the burns. He don't have the burns or the teeth. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, what's, you know, what's crazy. Like, well, I guess Freddy was the only one who actually had teeth. Mm. Were they sh- that showed teeth? Chucky. When you go back, Chucky didn't have teeth. He was a doll. Chucky had teeth. He used to bite people. Chucky had teeth. The doll had teeth, bro. Probably in like the later ones, but like Child's Play. The doll had teeth, bro. Yes, this nigga had teeth. I remember him having teeth in like the other oh shit. I remember him. I really don't remember. Not in Child's Play, at least. Matter of fact, I do. In the first one, because at the end, he was like an animatronic, and the, all the plastic had burnt off. Yeah, he had teeth. And it showed him having teeth. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, teeth. I'm trying to think. You never got a chance to see Jason's. You don't know Michael Myers. You assume Michael Myers has teeth. I would assume he has teeth. Uh, uh, I would Jeepers assume. Creepers had teeth. Jeepers Creepers definitely had teeth, because he was eating people. Um, why are we talking about killers with teeth? What's going on? What's going on here? Hey, is man. This, is this where we going at the going down a rabbit hole of what's we, we, we still killers, we still on that serial kill. After even after we was done recording, bro, I was thinking I was like, bro, I went back and I was really thinking about like somebody said after, deja vu. I forgot about Deja, Deja Vu. I forgot about Deja Vu. I seen that in the comments. They were saying that. And then I also forgot about your boy, like as a like a S tier actor, mm-hmm. your boy from Hannibal. Oh, uh Anthony Hawkins. I think that's his name. Yeah, Anthony Hawkins. Yeah, yeah. He's S tier. For sure. For sure, bro. Don't I don't want to hear nothing. I'm not I'm not arguing. But if you're if we only have five seats, bro. We only have five. Like it can't be twelve niggas in the S tier. S tier means like the elite of the elite. It's a lot of A's, but well, there's only he, five. I put him number one in the A's. It depends on who's all in the A's, bro. I mean, we went through that whole list, but it we is. ain't got to go through that again. again. But for me and mine, he's he's number one. Okay. in the A's. Two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Listen. Got, okay, here we go. Listen. Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, Morgan, uh, Freeman. Morgan Freeman. Jeez. And we said Leonardo. No. Leonardo. Yeah, you did. We bumped him out because we put in Morgan. Uh we put in Jack Nicholson. And Jack Nicholson. Yeah. Do, do so Jack. it was Lee it, it was Robert Pacino, Morgan, Jack Nicholson. Nah, we had we had uh uh, uh, Forrest Gump, Tom Hanks. We that was that was the five. That was the last five after we bumped out. Yeah. So we so bumped out. Uh, we bumped out Leo. We bumped out Denzel. Denzel. Yeah. Okay. So you have Leo and Denzel. I'm. I'm. Are you Are you saying Anthony Hopkins is? You're taking Anthony Hopkins over Denzel and Leo. I'm not mad if you are. He's in that three with them. I'm not. I'm not mad at that. Yeah, yeah. I'm not mad at that. We also got Johnny, like how we said we Johnny, had like the Johnny, purgatory. Johnny Depp. Johnny, like bro, the comments was going crazy. Y'all was talking about that shit, and they was and they was reminding me, and I was just like, damn, bro, that's fucking crazy. I was like, it was so many people, and then I was like, there's no way you could really break it down to a, like a solid five, and you could, you could, I could see them doing like a solid five. But then even more so when we was trying to break down like five Denzel movies, like that's that's nearly impossible because yeah. no everybody's five is gonna be totally different. For sure. For sure, everybody's five. What I think I think I think everybody's because I seen some I think sixty to eighty percent would be similar. I seen some 
the comments were saying they felt like Deja Vu should have been in both of our top fives. And I was like, bro, what? I yeah. was like, Deja Vu was definitely like a fire ass movie. Yeah. It was definitely good as hell. I was like, but I just can't get that up there. I, I don't think I could get that up to top five for me. I mean, that's I a lot. It's a lot to pick from. But that was two minutes. Might have been three. But uh, welcome back to another episode of the You Gotta Relax podcast. I'm your host, Drizzle. This is my dog. What up, y'all? It's me, Sonny. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. Let me try that again. Let me try it again. Take two. It's me. It's me, Sonny. And I and I did my hands. I was That's like, I was I was like Sunday. Yeah. Fuck it. We'll, we'll keep going. We'll keep going. We'll keep going. But uh, how you doing, bro? You good? Yeah, man. I'm, I'm all right, man. You feel me? My hands healing up nice. Okay. okay. What the doctors told me and stuff, bro. So you know what I'm saying. I go back to the doctor. Probably like the end of the month. Yeah. Get re x ray to see like where we really at. Hopefully, bro. Fingers crossed. I get up out that brace and. I can start getting my hand to like match the rest of my body. <laughs> because right now, bro, I'm two tone. Then the motherfucker, bro, from like the forearm all the way down to like my fingers. It's weird. But other than that, like, yeah, bro, everything's smooth, my boy. Mm-hmm. And you know, that was kind of gross. Sorry for the word ASMR. But, uh, what? Because I was like, oh, that shit. <laughs> Some people like that shit, bro. Uh, some people do, bro. I try. I like, bro. I literally one night, bro, was on TikTok and came across like some ASMR, and then I hit the hashtag. Then I found myself like in a wormhole of ASMR, and the further I got, the more I was like turned off by it. Like, didn't want to. There's hear a market. It. it was annoying There's to a me. Market. It was like cringe, like, bro, like There's some shits called the muck, the mukbangs. Some market, shit. yeah, like it. And for me, bro, it was the people that were like whispering and talking because it's like, bro, I hate when people whisper in your ear, in my ear, cause period, because it, it tickles. I guess, bro, <laughs> like, I don't know, but it makes Freak me feel like, that, <laughs> like, like, especially like my nieces and nephews, like, they always be, come on, I got a secret, and then they just be <sighs> hot ass, bro, and bro, and it's just like, Ugh, stop, like, Ugh, back the fuck like up. It. I don't yeah, like yeah. it, I don't like it, and then even adults, like, you feel me? Somebody's like, you see him over here, come here, let me tell you something, and then they try to like take I'm not, you quietly, I'm not, I'm not gonna and it's like, you. bro, like, no, nah, I can't not, do it, I'm not gonna hold, I'm not gonna hold you. I haven't, I've never had, and I've never let it and don't get close enough to try to. Whisper in your ear? Yeah, bro, like back up, bro. Send it to me in a text. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> you are too fucking close to me, bro. Like, I ain't never been fuck. that close. Right. But like a kid, they won't be like. Yeah, a kid gonna like, be bruh, inside your ear, Bruh. Look, but uh, you know it's a market for uh for the bitches that like like they lick microphones, hmm? like the ASMR shit you talking about. There's a market where you know you said they whisper. <laughs> There's a market where they lick the microphones. They have a microphones? they have a left mic, they got a right mic, and they're going back and forth. They're going back and forth and licking the microphones. For weirdos with headphones. Yeah. And they, I would imagine motherfuckers is probably getting off to that shit. I just can't do the ASMR. Like, imagine, imagine, imagine. Like, I've, I've seen it because Twitch was bad for it at one point. You get on Twitch and it's like, bro, all these bitches bro, are right just licking. Right next all these bitches are just licking. That shit's nuts, bro. But they making a killing. They making money off that shit. So what's sicker that they can make money off of it or that they're doing it? Mm-mm. I don't like it. Uh, what? Both. Both. <laughs> Both. It's like fart videos, like bro. What the fuck? fart videos or like that's bro. Motherfuckers taking shits and stuff, bro. Like the scat, bro. Scat, scat pack, scat, and like fart videos, bro. Like they're pretty sick. Honestly, bro. Like who's sicker, the person that requested this or the person that's actually doing this? Uh okay, so I think for the farting, I would say the person requesting because what the fuck? You can't even smell it. Like that's crazy. The shitting 
It's the person doing it. The person doing it. You're insane. Yeah, like, it's like, what compels you, 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 you to what, just... Open your asshole and drop... All right, come on. All right, no, I don't want to talk yeah, about Yeah, we ain't got to go that far. I don't, don't, don't want to talk about that. They That's disgusting. Pick that nigga up off the... <laughs> that, yeah, that nigga, the UFC nigga got his ass kicked. Uh, what we got to talk about today, man? You want to talk about uh, Deadpool Wolverine? To get into some of this... Uh... Yeah, man, I checked that movie out, man. That, that, that all right, what, what's, what, what do you, where, where do you... Where do you rank it as far as... Is it a top five Marvel movie for you? Number one and number two, what do you what do you give it a grade as far as rating wise? Definitely not top five. Okay. Uh, hmm. as far as a grade, I give it. And this is gonna sound crazy, but as far as a grade, I will give it like a ten out of ten. What the fuck? How? Okay, hold on. But I, and that's why I said this no. might sound crazy. Okay. The only reason I'm giving ten out of ten is such a top five. How many? Because listen, you just handing out tens like like because candy. Listen, listen. I'm giving it a ten out of ten for the homage that they did, recognizing the ones who kicked. You knew Electra. I, well, I knew Electra. But it's like... Yeah. And I, then, I then the way that they did it was like, our worlds died and we ended up here. And like, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen it, like, click away or fast forward. But like, nigga, like, the fact that they were like, fam, our worlds died, so now we ended up here in the void. And it's like, bro, like, it all just... The way they brought it together, bro, was just... Chef kiss. Like that shit was dope as fuck to me. Because it's like you got the whole Blade series and we ended up with like three or four Blade movies. And then all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying? Bro goes to jail or whatever. Or maybe he hadn't even gone to jail yet. And but like out the blue, like the Blade movies are over. Also, you get a surprise appearance from in one of those movies, Ryan Reynolds, who also plays Deadpool. Yeah, he played Hannibal. Blade movies. He played Han uh, Hannibal. And Blade Trinity. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? And can we just say, Ryan Reynolds, like, I'm glad that you finally picked a role in this. He, he was always Deadpool, but I'm thinking Green Lantern. You're Green Lantern. I, I, sometimes, bro, like, I imagine him, like, I see Green Lantern and I'm just like, oh, Terrible movie, by the way. Green Lantern was crap. It was bad. It was crap. That that's, not his fault. That's in the void. Yeah. That, not, that not, and you know what's crazy? I'm not mad. Like if they did it correctly, he's actually a great casting to be Green. the Green Lantern. Yeah. They just Green Origin shit. Like that Deadpool yeah. was fucking nuts. You know. I watched Deadpool 2 last night. Yeah. And I was like, bro, there was so much foreshadowing in this movie about Deadpool 3. Yeah. And I was like, bro, I didn't even see it coming. Oh, with the. <laughs> they had no idea that, you know what I'm saying? This is why they were saying and why he referenced Wolverine so much throughout that movie. Yeah. Well, that was always his goal, was to always get that. meet Wolverine, which is why he always, always wanted to in get every that. single movie, he was just like, is Wolverine here? Yeah, Has anybody seen that? That was his thing. But also, Wolverine is like outside of maybe Spider Man, which he actually runs with Spider Man. Like he doesn't really fight him. Yeah, him yeah. and Wolverine are like they're they have a common like they 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 have a history. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because like, so it, 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 makes start, sense. it kicks off with him having like the toy of Wolverine when he was killed, and like. The homage that they had, which is why I said I give the movie a 10 out of 10. And then not only that, but like the ending credits where it showed them being on some like, being on some like, bro, we're going to go back to all the behind the scenes shit, uh, clips from certain, from all these movies. And yeah. we're going, you feel me? 
Not our hats. Fox, you did an amazing job kicking this shit off. You just didn't have the skill and the writers and yeah, directors up. to tagged. take off with it what it should have probably been. But don't worry, because we're going to now take this shit and we're going to make it, we're going to give it the praise that it's due. I mean, it's small shit that Fox was fucking up on, fucking up on, like not putting these niggas in their original costumes. Like, like that black leather shit was terrible. And they explained why they went with the black leather. They went with it because of the Matrix. The influence from the Matrix. Mm. It was like the Matrix was the hottest shit. Like that was it. And so they were like, we went with black leather suits instead of the traditional blue and yellow or whatever it was for the X Men, whatever whatever era that they wanted to go with. So they started with some new black and yellow, some black and black leather suits and. The fans were like, that's why, I, that's why, bro, that's why that part, those parts where they showed Wolverine in all those different suits, and he was in the yellow and the blue, it's like, dog, we find that's, him that's what we wanted Wolverine. to see. Like, that's, yeah. that's small shit like that, that can make a movie from a four to a seven. It's like, bro, this nigga was in the original costume, bro. We finally got, we finally got a real deal live action wolverine in his iconic suit yeah. like the suit it's like it's just like what, what just like what they just did with spider-man bro so you peep at the last spider-man um at this last third one that just came go. out you peep at the end he was in his original spider-man your your friendly neighborhood hero whatever the fuck. he was in the original blue and red like that yeah. That small shit like that matters because we didn't we we haven't seen him in the in the MCU He's always yet. either been in solid he, red or black and red. He, he, he's been in the Stark shit. So now they've moved on from that. So now he's your friendly neighborhood hero, Spider Man. He's in that suit, and that's like, bro, that's what people want to see. Like that's the yeah. original suit. So it's like, and it's like that adds to it, adds to the mystique of it. And I think that's one thing that Disney has done amazing. And maybe that's why it took Disney to take all these movies and shows back and buy all of this shit back is because it's just like, bro, if we're going to do it, bro, and we're going to honor Stan Lee and everything that him and the rest of the creators, they ideas and the comics and everything had to do, but we're going to do it and we're going to do it right. We're going to stick to the program, bro, and we're going to bring this shit from paper to your television or to a big screen. get the then you get the uh the amazing spider-man his shit was red and blue mm -hmm. but it's still just like bro like like i mean i just don't know i just don't know and then sony ends up buying the the spider-man that went along with the marvel shit but it was just like sony's got it but they still brought in the marvel's team because you feel me they still like consulted with disney at least to make it seem as cool as possible so that it would fit with the scheduling that they had for what Disney was trying to do with the with with everything, if that makes sense. So it's it's or am the, I wrong? The way the way the way that the way that it was happening was because the, the Sony and the Spider Man shit is it's so loony because there is a Sony universe, there is a Spiders verse, but there is the MCU. So yeah. Tom Holland Spider Man is a part of the MCU. Yeah. But everything else that Sony has been doing is a part of it's just Sony. It's Who did Sony. the amazing Spider Man? Sony. That's not he's not MCU. So but that's, that's why you get the multi. But that's the multiverse and it's like okay, like they're get they got the right the so first, so they got the so they got Spider Man, which was the with Toby Maguire. Toby. Toby Maguire. So they got Spider Man is a part of the MCU now, but it's not Spider Man is not owned by Disney. Spider Man is a Sony product, but for the MCU, they have been licensed. They they work together. I mean, they're gonna get paid. Yeah, they've been so the Spider Man movies, as far as the MCU, as far as those goes with Tom Holland, those are production wise, those are Disney. Mm -hmm. it's, it's but it's it's Sony. It's owned by Sony. But it's under the MCU. Mm -hmm. So when they do the Venoms and shit like that, those aren't, those aren't, they're not, well, up until recently, they weren't a part of the MCU. 
Now, because Sony's over di- uh, Venom, right? Sony, so everything that's in the Spider Man universe, you got Morbius, you got the Spider Verse movies, you now got, Venom, you got Venom. So now Which with that, with we... the with the end credit scene, you get the Venom cameo. So like they're 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 tying stuff in, but the it's Venom still cameo, and then also you get the piece of Venom that stayed. that stayed. So and in, then it shows your boy in Spider Man Four putting the cup on the piece. That's the thing, but he's also do which I guess is comes into the multiverse part of mm-hmm. it. This shit's so confusing, but he comes into the multiverse side of it because he's not who he was in Doctor Strange. He's now somebody else. Cool. The black dude. Uh Like it's not that same person would took a different path. Like no, that's literally a different character. So in the spider in, in the Venom shit in the Spider Man shit, he is that that he just plays that character. And then in the doc, that he's that, that those those characters aren't the same person with a different path. Like they're literally, it's like uh damn how could I say this uh what's the nigga that played uh the nigga that played Moon Knight? So he played Moon Knight. Moonlight. He played Moon Knight, and then he also did uh. The, Can't wait for that to come back. Uh, he did. He did. He did, he did a voice for the dude in uh, was Spider Man 1099, I think, or I can't remember it was Spider. Anyway, the Spider Man that was in the last Spider Verse movie. Yeah, the villain. He did the voice of that. So it's like it's just it's just the same actor playing two different characters that the characters don't combine. They're not the same. But I, I know what you're talking about because he is in that shit. But he's a he's, he's, a, he's the one a, he's a put general. the cup on it. He's a general type. He's shit. a general type shit. Yeah, but that. Yeah, but he's dude not, was finna yeah. touch it and it reached out to him. And then as soon as they was about to like it, like the ET shit we were yeah. just talking about, <laughs> <laughs> he put the cup on that shit. Was like and then just didn't say nothing. It was kind of just like damn. Okay, what the hell? Yeah. But so, now we know uh, for a fact me. that a piece of venom was left back. Yep. And so now venom's in the MCU. We probably get this venom with a different quote unquote Brock, not so, Brock in its in its totality. So Brock the person, but probably. Or maybe there is a Brock. So, no, what's supposed to happen from what I've been reading, because it's been a lot that's been coming out since the Deadpool Wolverine and with Robert Downey Dooney, Robert Downey Downey Jr., Jesus. Uh, Robert Downey Dooner. <laughs> announcing that he's Dr. Doom and a lot of people being upset about that, but I don't I don't mind it. I, I, I kind of see what they're doing with it. Um, I mean, based on the comics, I mean, this is something that has happened. Yes. And, and he's not like Doom permanently like he's he's a version so what I, so what they're saying and we can move on past the venom shit what they're saying is the plot to uh avengers doomsday is you know with the whole anchor shit like what deadpool just tried to do i'm gonna go get another wolverine he's gonna be our anchor my timeline's gonna live you know because yeah. i've I replaced we have wolverine he's an anchor he's an anchor being That dog. specific dog, no. but I've seen dogs. Yeah, like that is that. that that dog really is that. It's not that was an AI. It wasn't CGI. That was a real life canine. Bruh, and those up. dogs smell. They ugly. They look like they smell. Look like they don't know how to function properly. Like they don't know how to shit right. Niggas don't know how to piss. Like niggas <laughs> niggas don't know how to eat correct. You got a spoon. Anyway, fuck that dog. Uh. Like the dog <laughs> Vader Zim. <laughs> oh, hey. And Vader Zim was so gross, but it was good. I used to love Vader Zim. But um, so but no, but but the plot is so they're like, damn, our timeline is dying. We need an anchor being. Our time, our anchor being was Tony. Yeah. They go find another Tony. The Tony that they grab ends up being Anthony Stark, who ends up being taking a path of instead of going being Iron Man. He turns into Doom. They bring him in, boom. He realizes that some shit, like he he feels like he's gonna save the timelines by making all the timelines merge into one. A is huge it, incursion, which is how you get Battle World. Do you do you think that's why he was like a different character, same agenda? Same agenda. Because you gotta think, Iron Man kicked. When he this said shit that, off. I was kind of like, bro, what? Think about it. Iron Man kicked this shit off. 
He's yeah. the star. Like, yeah, we know Blade and all that stuff, but I, the beginning of the MCU, as the we MCU know it, today that we know is the first uh, Iron Man. Dun, 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 the first, dun, dun, the very first dun, Iron Man. Man. So he started this shit. So what better way than to bring the nigga that started this shit? There'll be another doom. What phase are we on now? Phase six. So, so this, so, so there will, there will, there will be another doom. Like it, like there will be an official doom. A lot of people are assuming it's gonna be a, a boy from Oppenheimer. Um, I'd like to see him. He was also in. Uh, he was in. So I can't think of his name. If you say his name, I know it. Uh, Sicily. Uh, I don't know. It's something strange. Yeah, I, I almost said Sicily Tyson, bro. That's. Cool. Crazy, but he was also in Peaky Blinders. Peaky Blinders, so him, that dude. They're saying he's going to be in the real Doom, and it's a lot. Like I said, it's just plots. It's just Cicely uh, Murphy. Cicely Murphy. So it's a lot of plots. It's a lot of rumors going on right now. We don't know exactly what is what because I mean it's all speculation. But there, there will be like I think Doom. Like, and I feel and bad. Florence Pugh was in that movie too. I fuck with Florence Pugh, and but like I, I shout out to her. I, I they just, got their movie finna Thund- come out. Thunderbolts is about is coming out too, and that's gonna be real good too. So it's gonna be a lot, bro. It's gonna be interesting. That's supposed to be like the. Damn, I forgot the old girl Elaine from Seinfeld, who's supposed like, to be like the opposite of like Nick Fury. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much, yeah. And Nick Fury's going to be in Fantastic Four, from what I've seen. He's going to appear, so that's good. Uh, it's going to be interesting, man. I think the MCU's in a great place. I'm, I'm excited for what's going on. I'm ready for the Young Avengers. I'm ready for Agatha. So how'd you feel um, about Deadpool and Wolverine? I loved it. Uh, what right, I say? So what you, what, now, what'd I'm you not going to give it a 10 it, and not put it in my five? five. I'm like, is you it gave, in your top five? I'm still stuck on you giving it a 10 and not in your five. That's insane to me. But, you, but I explained why. Yeah, you but said still, cool so how many 10s are you giving out? But you said it was cool with that. How many 10s are you giving out? How many tens am I giving out? Yes, for you to have, like, because the way you said Deadpool Wolverine's not in your top five, it was like, nigga, it's not even close. Did I say it's not close? The way you said it was like, nigga, please, top no, five, you crazy. Like, it's probably not in my top five, but. And I don't think it's in my top five either. This is not my top five either. not my top five either. Yeah. I mean, for me, if, if you want to dive into, like, what my top five But it's is. definitely probably top seven. Yeah, for sure. Definitely for sure. probably top seven. Sure. I wouldn't be mad if somebody had it top five. Um, rating wise, I wouldn't give it a, a ten. I'd probably give it an eight, nine, maybe a nine one. Somewhere and see, that's range. where I was gonna go, but somewhere then in that when range, I, somewhere in that range. Yeah, I was gonna go that route. Just because it's it it, it gave you so it's one of the things one of the movies where I feel like they didn't try too hard to make it something else. Like they literally said, the "Hey, was so they, they 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 literally said, hey, look, guys, people want to see Wolverine in his old suit. Check. People want to see variants of Wolverine in different suits. Check. So we got the the, the brown and yellow suit. We got the one with the, uh, where he's missing the hand. He has an animanium stub, and he got I think it's the apocalypse shit. He got the fucking hair blowing out and shit. We got we got Henry Cavill." As oh, Wolverine, when he was like, up on when he was on the X, we got the we he, got the we got the the crucifix Wolverine. I don't know what the fuck that was, but I don't know what that yeah, was. That, that shit looked but, demonic. Yeah, as hell, he was, bro, and I was he, he was like, he was fucked up. <laughs> I was like, I said, uh, I don't know who put Hugh Jackman on this cross like this, but like <laughs> whoever clearly, whoever did it, man, you need to get the fuck on yeah, out because a, like whoever did that, they they had the, obviously OP as hell. They had the comic book accurate height Wolverine. When the nigga was at the bar, nigga jumped, nigga was four eight. Like they, they did. It was enough. You feel I ain't gonna me? Fight. The the little person Wolverine was hilarious. Had me crying. Was hilarious. Nigga turn around, right? <laughs> because it looked like him from the neck up. Yeah, and he and jumped then down. He was just he a jumped down. Body. He was like, oh, how cute. <laughs> <laughs> and then you get Deadpool, who's just like the jerk asshole, and it's just like, bro, what's happening right now? But yeah. I mean, the whole movie, like we said, spoiler alerts, man. If you haven't seen it, get the fuck on. But but I, I, but I but but I did like the fact that they did that. Like, like I think that they didn't try too hard to be different. Like they gave you Blade how you would want Blade. They gave you Gambit how Channing Tatum was supposed to play in a get in a Gambit movie, but it just never happened. They gave fans that because people were excited about it. Yeah, we were movie. supposed to get a Gambit movie, and it was supposed after. to be Channing Tatum, and it just never happened. And then it ended up being Homeboy from. Uh... 
Battleship. Yeah, but he was he played the Gambit in the Wolverine shit. Did he? Yeah, he played the Gambit in the Yeah, yeah, uh, in, yeah, in yeah, the yeah that's shit. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. But we're supposed that's to why get I said it. you get homeboy from Battleship because Channing Tatum didn't do it for whatever reason or couldn't do it. Yeah, and, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happens that but yeah, that was I don't, but that I don't was, really but they were in talks of having a Gambit solo film and it just never I don't I don't know. So bro was probably gonna be recasted anyways, because it's like if we're gonna do a whole Gambit film, then boom. We're, we're, it was gonna be it was gonna, gonna be Channing Tatum. Right. It, it yeah. was gonna be Channing Tatum, and it just never happened. But fans were excited for that, so I thought that that was dope. To boom, you you go. That's get what the, I said, bro. The nostalgia and the the homages they was giving. You know what I'm saying they bro, brought they brought old girl back. Like fun. they they treated it like she really she just got older. Yeah, and you know she looked good in that movie, bro. Like, like she, she was she, she almost she, like yeah, you could tell she was she's older now, but she doesn't look too much older than what. If anything, it looks like she aged perfectly in the. She boy. did. Yeah, she like, did. You know what I'm saying? Where she it's just did. like she's been here for so long, but and then, bro, what do you think about that? Uh, like Blade, where he had the bazooka, and he was just like, "It's only one blade." And it's I think it was gonna be one blade. It's a joke. Yeah, of it's course, a, it's a and joke. Then I did, you get I did, Deadpool, I did. and he looks over and he like winks his eyebrows yeah. and shit, like raises his eyebrows. And he's like, "Hmm." Yeah, I mean, because you got to because that bro. shit's on its way too. See, but they keep fucking up, bro. They're on their third. Director, like they're on their third, like they done. That's because they bro, know they have so, to get this shit right. No, bro, they fucked up the story, bro. So the first one, he he was like, I wasn't fucking with the direction of it. He left. They bring in a new person. The new person tried to change it into like it was gonna be a woman led fucking film, like it was gonna be a Blade movie, but it was gonna be like women, like they were. It was fucking up the writing, and then like Marsha Ali was like, bro, I didn't sign on for this. Like, what the fuck, like. I'm Blade. Like the movie is supposed to be about the character. Why are y'all trying to turn it into some other shit? So then they had to bring in a, so is another Lee person. Still the yes, still Blade. Yes. So they just they just can't get this shit. I'm talking about, bro. Every time they try to get this shit started, something happens. And bro. I feel him because he's looking at it like, bro, y'all not gonna disrespect Blade, bro. Like what Blade. the fuck, bro? And then also just like you feel me, uh, uh, Wesley Snipes, and it's just like, bro, like. I grew up on that shit. I watched that shit. Wesley, like, I look up to him. So, like, if I'm going to be his succession or his successor, like, bro, I want to make sure we doing this shit right. And don't have, don't write no bullshit. Don't do nothing crazy. Like, bro, let's let's do it and do it right. So, no to number one. No to, definitely no to number two. And not just because it's like a woman-led film, but just like, no, like, if we're going by the comics and they want to do it right, bro, they, they'll, they'll, I feel like they'll find somebody whether it be the Russo brothers or whoever, you know. Well, what no, they, they got the person now, so I, I think they are. Oh, so they, they did they, find somebody. Yeah, yeah. Like, like I, I had said, to get my boy on the like show. I said, they on uh, their third, bro. They on their third person. Like they have been trying to get this movie off the ground since like either right before or right after COVID. Like, but it's been the Blade movie was supposed to come out this year originally, bro. Earlier this year, and they had to push it back because it's just, bro. They just can't get shit right, bro. Like they, it's just all fucked up. But it's it's getting to the point, bro. Like I said, I'm I'm excited. I'm 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 excited for it, for the MCU right now. I think it's in a good place. I think it's in a good space. Bro, I'm gonna have to connect um, you with my boy Jordan. Like I'm, my I'm, dog Jordan down in Chattanooga, bro. Like he's tapped in with yeah. this shit. Nah, I, 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 hey, this, and shit, like if there was some way to get deep, him bro. up here. She gets Which deep, it probably bro. wouldn't be hard, but it's a, it's still just like, bro, like deep, if we gonna dive into it, bro, it's like I like I know you be tapped too, yeah, but like, bro, it's like linked, like comic book linked, yeah, behind the scenes linked, comic con linked, like yeah. he, bro, everything. And like I told you, like he hit me up, it was just like, bro, this and the third, and that's why they did this, and that's why they did that, and I'm looking at, I'm reading what he, what he, what he wrote me, and I'm just like. I don't even know what the fuck you talking about. Yeah, this, nigga, this nigga talking. This nigga talking high Valerian. Like, what the fuck? This, this nigga, nigga talking. <laughs> oh, that's what we forgot to put on the, the, the game. We said, we go, that's a perfect segue, though, bro. Let's go ahead and get up off that shit. But shout out to Jordan, bro. I appreciate you putting me on game, my nigga. Appreciate you watching and tapping word, in, bro. Word, word. Hope you're doing well. I'll hit you soon, my nigga. But, uh, uh, game what was it? Game of well, Thrones. Not even Game of Let's. I think we got to be correct. So I, I, I've noticed it's not called Game of Thrones. It no. is House of Dragon. Yeah. But niggas, it's really called. We call it game. It's game of, to us. Yeah, yeah. It's Game of Thrones, bro. What you talking about? Like House of Dragons. Like, like when I say, did you watch Game of Thrones? You're not gonna be like, what you talking about? You are gonna say, yeah, nigga, I watched it. 
Yeah. Because you know what the fuck I'm saying. Yeah. But I, I have seen some people be like. I feel like anybody who's watched Game of Thrones. is just going to refer to it to House. I've seen some yeah. people get mad and say, it's House of Dragons, not Game of Thrones. I've bro, seen I, some people. I, I've seen some people at work was like telling that. somebody, like, I was asking, I was like, bro, have you, I was like, bro, you watch uh, Game of Thrones? And they was like, nah. I was like, my bad, bro. Not Game of Thrones, but House of Dragons. So he was talking about new shows, and he put me on to the show that's on Peacock now called Those About to, Those of Us About to Die. Mm -hmm. or Those About to Die or whatever. Yeah. And that shit's dope as hell. It's like some gladiator type shit. It's like Spartacus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, Spartacus. So I was asking him, has he been watching, like, House of Dragon? And he was like, bro, they told me, uh, he was like, I heard about it and I was going to watch it, but they said I needed to watch Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones first. And I was Technically, like... Technically, no. bro. that's exactly and the, it's same, a, the same And the side, fact it's a prequel, bro, the fact the same, it's a prequel, you don't have to. Nigga, the to. same exact side that you, you just to. gave and the answer, I was like... <laughs> Technically, no, bro. Like, you need to watch this first, bro, yeah, because there's watch. so much in Game of Thrones that's going to happen and refer back to this, to this. Yep. that you're going to be confused as fuck because me, as a first-time watcher, I was confused. I was like, bro, oh, high Valerian, like, the old way of talking, like, what the fuck is all this shit? Like, I don't know what none of this is. I was like, bro, yeah. you need to tap in now because this shit explains that shit. Yep. So watch this so you can understand that. This is the prequel to all of that. And he was kind of like, all right, bro, I'm going to tap in. Well, then, dude who told him to watch Game of Thrones first, he walks up, and I'm I, like, I just went ahead and gave it, gave it to him. No diddy. I was like, bro, why would you tell him to watch Game of Thrones first? <laughs> Grow the fuck up. I was like, why would you tell? You got to say that shit now, though, right? Because if you don't say it, nigga, motherfuckers going, like, they so homophobic. It's just so weird, bro. Like, especially at, at my at, job. That's a street. What? It's three episodes in a row. That I've... Ah, here That's we go. Three I'm just saying, it's three episodes in a row, you'd be like, you so homophobic. <laughs> bro, because, bro, it really pisses me off. Because I deal with that shit Monday through Friday, bro, at work. And it's like, bro, like, uh, I, like I'm like i almost ready to go to HR on them. Damn. Because it's like, bro, like. Human resources on niggas. <laughs> bro. Just damn. Joking. But it's just, it's still just like, it's, it's for kicks and giggles. But it's still just like, bro, when am I going to be allowed to say what I want to say? When am I going to be allowed to be me? Yeah, it's like, bro, I'm cool with, I'm cool with me being no me. Diddy. I'm cool no. with you being No, no, because you try to be funny. You try to be funny right now. We're not going to be allowed to be me. Like, bro, like, no, that's not what the fuck I mean, bro. Like, I'm saying it in the sense of. Oh, shit. Anyways, bro, so I went ahead and talked to bro at work, and I was just like, bro, fuck you and this segment. And this story. Come on, bro. bro. Come on, so I was bro. like, bro, why would you tell him to watch that first? <laughs> Long story short, the nigga ended up agreeing with me. And, you know what I'm saying? It was that old that. You were asking. Because this weekend we got the finale for the House of Dragons finale for season two. Um, how do you feel? Like, I mean, I got an idea of what's going to happen, but how do you feel? How do you feel about this season in totality? Like, I've been seeing mixed reviews. I know a lot of people, a lot of people hated episode five, I think. It's episode four or five, whichever one where. But also, but they have also, a also, relationship but also, but also, just because to, the book didn't go into detail. It's but I'm still, saying, yes, they they had a bond. Yeah. But also to the writers, when I say relationship, they, I mean like they, that wasn't written in the script. No, no, no. That was that oh. was yeah. That was improvised. Yes. Well, yes. That was. I'm not, not gonna cap. I'm not gonna cap. Yeah, that I was, think that in real life, in real time, she is a LGBTQ plus. Not so much saying that she actually wants a character like that, but I can see her being like him. Like, we're not just going to have the men sleeping with men and this shit. Like, we need to show the women doing, like, women being off that too. And if in the book, 
my character is written to have this type of relationship. I want it to happen too. And if we're going to bring this to life, let's bring it to life. Like, I'm not saying let's show us like scissoring or something, but like. Scissor me, Zerskis. <laughs> you could wait. You you was hoping that I said scissors. You were just hoping. You was like, Jesus. Like, you was like Dave Chappelle when he was in the car. He's like, come on, Kitty. Come on, Kitty. Come on, scissors. But like, I could see her like really like pushing for something like that or even. Just like, uh, finna go off track a little bit and like give y'all a history lesson in film. But in Star Trek, mm -hmm. when uh, my boy, I can't remember the main character's name. Captain Kirk. Captain Kirk. When Captain Kirk in Star Trek, mm -hmm. there was a scene where he was supposed to fall for a black woman, but there had never been like an interracial kiss on television, let alone a, like in a movie, let alone on television like television yeah and captain kirk every time they shot the scene he kissed this black girl and they were like bro cut do it again cut do it again like yeah. he just kept kissing her and then he came down and was just like bro i'm like when you like if y'all haven't noticed i'm not gonna not kiss her just yeah. because y'all don't want me to yeah like shit. i'm doing what i want to do and if I remember, I remember the black chick. She was, she was, she was one of them ones. Yeah, she was one of them ones. And I can't remember her name. And you feel me? Forgive me. But for for Star Trek fans who are watching, yeah. But like, bro, like that's one of those things. Like I kind of see it. And now that you said it, because I didn't know that that shit wasn't scripted. But I'm also looking at it in the sense of like film. Like y'all got me on here. I'm in contract. Yeah, it is what it is. Y'all breached the contract. Y'all still gotta pay me. And I'm taking you out of court for breaching contracts. So it's like, fam, if we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. But like, this is I'm, but and I don't have a problem with that part either. But but what I'm saying is so like the fans have been upset with certain things that are part of the books and part of Game of Thrones that they've either taken out or changed for this season or stuff going on. For prime example. Yeah, but that happens in everything, but, which but, is what this is the point I'm trying to make. It is what it is when it comes to like what these actors are or aren't gonna do in said scenes, movies, TV shows. It's like, yeah, the book says one thing, but it's also like that kind of how we go back to like the whole Sony shit. Like Sony knew what the comic said and they chose to go their own route with the shit. So we as viewers and fans just had to you feel me? No, for sure. Take it for, for sure. What it was. For and sure. it's like just complaining in silence because like our complaints aren't really like, yeah, they might make it all the way up the chain of, of command or up the ladder. But I mean, it's only so much that they're really going to listen to or pay attention to. So True. it, it kind of is what it is. And I get fans being like, well, the book said this and this is that on that. And I, this is really well, I, all I think, different. I think, I think, what I think we tell in this crowd. Uh, I think they are Saudi Arabia. Uh -huh. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I could yeah. be wrong. I might be wrong. I don't know. I don't like quite know. I don't know where this even is at. But what I'm saying is, so like, uh, prime example, they were upset about Corliss, um, about him, and because you know he has the two bastard sons, Alan and Adam, um, the two black niggas. Yeah, yeah. So the reason why the dragon chose, um, uh. Is it Adam? Yeah, the reason why the dragon chose Adam is because he has some trace of Valerian or Tar. Well, Targaryen. He has to get, but Valerian is just. But no, 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 no. In the books, Valerians are actually dragon riders as well. They're the oldest dragon riders, and they're actually better dragon riders than the Targaryens. Yeah. Originally, in the books. Yeah. So when he when he said it, because it had never been said, when he said. We are we are of salt and sea. I'm I'm we, we're not nor we're not we're not dragon riders. Yeah. Fans were like, hold on now. That's y'all are Valerian. What are we talking about? Well maybe he doesn't know that. Well, no, they just took it out. They changed it. It's yeah. something that they changed because for the if show. He's really I don't know. Either shit could be watered down because I get in the show like it's centered around Targaryens. So it's like Targaryens. They've owned and ridden. And yeah, the two But they're actually the worst dragon riders, Targaryens. As far as skill level, Targaryens are the bottom. Valerian are the top.
I'm saying, well, like the way that the show's depicting it is that they this don't is, ride this is, this is just me being hypothetical. Yeah. This is not me trying to be right, not me trying to be wrong. It's just hypothetically speaking. Maybe they are taking a route as far as like, bro, being. He doesn't know because Targaryens don't want them to know. Or maybe it's so far down the timeline because all we've gotten is Targaryens have ridden dragons, ride dragons, breed dragons, own dragons. The from the smallest to they the do. largest dragon ever, even in the books. They do. A Targaryen rode that dragon. And all of that. And like, yes. That's where you also get the family tie for Valyrians and Targaryens breeding together, whether they're cousins, sisters, brothers, whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's it's just all been like a, a thing. And I feel like the, you kind of get to the point where it's like Targaryens took over as king and queen, as kings of the Seven Kingdoms. And then you get the Valyrians who are now, for whatever reason, and maybe we'll get a spinoff from some shit. Maybe we won't get a spinoff. No, Once won't. again, this is me just being hypothetical. They're about, they about to kill all these Maybe things. it's on some, yeah, because I don't even think you get Ain't no close. niggas in Thrones. I was about to say. Ain't no Valyrians. Ain't right? no right. niggas in Thrones. They pack, they pack that house up. But that's but that's what I'm saying. So it's like, I get it. Things change for the shows. Or whatever, but I think, I, think, I think what helped Game of Thrones is that for the most part, for as long as they could, they went back. By the book, yeah, they did change some stuff here and there, boom, boom, boom. But for the long, most part, excuse me for the. The school head coach right there. <laughs> Get on the line. No. <laughs> If you exactly. if you loafing, we starting over. If I catch one of y'all loafing, we starting over. The only reason I said that, bro, is because like the goatee. <laughs> when I was coaching, bro, that's exactly like I had I had the, the hat. dad hat, the goatee. I didn't have a, I didn't have goatee. The polo. Shit really don't come in like that. So My shit. That's, this, that's, this this is fabricated. I need people to understand that this is not. This is all an illusion. I ain't gonna lie. Your matter of fact, that exactly what's doing it. The illusion. You look like Coach Boo. <laughs> You look like Coach Boo. I think he said, he said, run it bass. He said, ah. he said, when I was 13 years old, my mother and father died in the same month. You hear me? The same month. He said, I had 16 brothers and sisters. He said, I was the oldest. Now, what he say? He said, he has 12 brothers and sisters, and I was the youngest out of all of them. But they all looked to me. When, when he said, bro, out there with that play, bro, the coach come up to him was like, I thought you only had like six brothers and sisters. He's like, I did. He was like, yeah, 13 sounds better. Yeah, it sounds better. Bro, because it's like, bro, clutch time. We ain't got time, bro. Like, and time for that shit, bro. Lock in. But no, like, I think I think with Thrones, I think Thrones did a great job of doing that. And I think House of Dragons, I, I love House of Dragons. I just think House of Dragons is amazing because we're finally seeing dragons in, like, do dragon shit, bang with each other, fights. Like, because this is we stuff, have the money this is to stuff. do it now. It's not even about the money. I, I think it's a part, like, that's in Game of Thrones, it wasn't about. The dragons, and there was only it was Daenerys was er, no, 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 like no. it kicked off like season one. Yeah, no, 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 no. you don't no, no, get no, no, it. No, no, no. What I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, the kingdoms, the all the dragons ruled, were supposedly dead. But that's what I'm trying. Well, to say. they were they, but not supposedly, but they were. But, dead. but that's what I'm trying to say. Like the dragons, the Targaryens, like bro, like she built her own army, like she built her own, her own kingdom, like she didn't like. She wasn't like a Lannister. She wasn't a goddamn Stark. Like she wasn't a, a Baratheon. Like no. Like she she wasn't from the Iron Islands. Like bro, she There's was some. out there. Yeah, he fights tonight. But she was out there. She built her own. She got her own army. She got the Sully. Like she did about build her own council. Like she did all her shit kind of yeah. on her. It's a little bit different. Whereas House of Dragon is like no nigga. This is called House of Dragon. We're expected to see dragons. Yeah. Like not just one. Not just two. No, we expected to see the big dogs. Like we ain't, yeah. we don't want to see the. We want to see Vagar. We want to see, we want to see Drogon. Like we want to see all them niggas, bro. Like because we want. That's what it's called. So I think Vagar I think beast, it, it's big as fucks. But but I think like with them finally like giving us what we wanted because up until recently we never really saw like a real deal dragon fight. 
the shit with Vagar and fucking Melees, that was a real dragon fight. So now we know, like, okay, they just not going to be blowing fire at each other. Now these motherfuckers, they going to use their claws. They going to grab at each other. They going to try to, they going to try to rip one of them stomachs open. Like they really going to bang it out. Like that's a real deal dragon fight. So yeah. we're finally seeing that. And I love that. But I think, I think where House of Dragon might be losing some of its luster and edge, like what Game of Thrones had early on and throughout is that you all have the source material to go from. Yeah. Don't veer from that. I understand that certain things change. I understand that actors do certain things and I get it. But if it's not in the book and you have the source material to go from there, it's okay to be like, we're just going off the book. I understand you had, you had a, a actor that went rogue, two actors that went rogue. You say, cut, do it again. Yeah. If y'all want to kiss and fuck, do that once we get offset. Okay. But we have a book. We have a script. It's not in here for a reason, guys. I really wasn't mad. Thank you. No, I'm not saying I'm mad at it, but I'm saying when you have the source material that you've been following, same thing with the with the Corliss shit. It's like, bro, we kind of had an idea what they were trying to like pivot the show towards, but for him to actually say out of his mouth. We are not dragon riders. Yeah. People they're like, whoa, what the fuck you mean? You're Valerian, bro. Yeah. Like, no. Which is why I said what I said. Like, y'all are better dragon riders than, than the Targaryens. The Targaryens are like the they're the scums. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like they're the bottom of it. So it's like I I I get some people feeling some type of way. It's like, bro, like, nah, like I don't I don't agree with that. Because at the same time, because now you add now, now you kind of, if you're still going off the story, it's like, okay, these two niggas are different looking from his other two, from his other kids. All his other kids have been like, fair, I don't want to say fair skin, but they've been light skin because yeah. they've been mixed with Targaryen. Yeah. Was their mother not Targaryen? If their mother was Targaryen, these niggas is black as fuck. Yeah. Something ain't adding up. So. But they had to the silver her. But so does he. And honestly, but that but he got it, a dragon. His hair is not silver. It's not. But, but that he, that's but, consistent with him being a bastard. Yes, but it's also not consistent with. So his mother wasn't Targaryen. So wasn't Targaryen. Mm, so it's his daddy's blood, which is what's caused him to give. So that means that if that's the case, then you're then the Valerians are dragon. Like you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like I where it's you. like I see, I see. Like it's so it's some conflicting shit where it's like I I can't get down with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, I mean, even his son who's bald headed. Well, he's bald on purpose. He, he don't want people to know. He don't want people to know. White. He don't want people to know. But that's his why his mom isn't Valerian or Targaryen. We don't know what their mom is. Yeah, we don't know what their mom is. We don't know what either one mom is. The but only the thing, fact that only thing is consistent is the daddy. We know what the who fuck is, he who is. is. Legitimate Valyrian blood. Exactly. So what we know is that he's Why Valyrian. He's always he's with the salt and sea shit, and his daughters who are Valyrian and Targaryen. Granddaughters. Well, granddaughters. Granddaughters. His daughter was Damon's wife, right? Who was? But they, but they were, but she was all him. The mother was oh girl. Um, she killed herself. Get what well, the mother was the the one that died on May Lee's. Yeah, can't think of a fucking actor. Oh yeah, you talking about the white? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so their daughter, yes, but she's Valerian and Targaryen. I, that 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 episode still like bothers me. What with her and May Lee's? Yeah, let's just like shorty, you're outmatched. Get the fuck out of there. Well, what are we doing? What are we doing? Uh, multiple things. I'm gonna tell you. So she, you got to remember, season one, she could have. She could have ended all this shit. Remember when they was in the in the church and the council shit, and she came through the floor with May Lee's and shit. She yeah, could've, she, she could also said she, it wasn't her war to start. Or yes, end. yes, but so then she, that's why she did. But, but 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 because she didn't do anything, that led to the Aegon killing the son. I mean, not Aegon, Aemon killing the son on accident. It was an accident, but it happened. So she felt bad because she could prevented. It I could have prevented all this. I could have stopped. All of this. Yeah. So when she went out there and Damon, 
before he left to go to Luigi's Mansion. And I mean, King, being called this King Slayer thing, and all that shit clearly means nothing to listen, people who who's gotten these titles. So it's like, even if she would have gotten the title as like like a horrible title, I mean, it don't mean shit because Jamie Lannister and Game of Thrones was still one of them ones that nobody won fuck with, nobody could fuck with or anything. Then he loses his hand. To the Lannisters. To the Lannisters. But, but then, to other people. But to other people, like, yeah. But be because, a fuck of his, nigga. because of his position of power, and had he not been caught, he would have never been put through that. But because he was. But I'm not saying saying that to say I don't think she would have made those same mistakes that Jamie made. Jamie got cocky. He got big-headed because... Two, because based on who, what his namesake was, and now not his namesake, but just off of what his name was or is, and the fact of the position of power that he had and the weight that comes behind their name, he felt like he was, quote unquote, untouchable, which is why he's let off to do certain and silly shit, no matter if it was he was sent to do it or not do it. But saying all that to say, I guess that's why sometimes in movies, and I say it all the time, like movies can be over and done with within like 90, 90, 90 seconds to five minutes. Every movie, no matter what it is, could be over within 90 seconds to five minutes if something doesn't go left. Yes. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because if she kills him, we don't get a series. Well, yeah, I mean, get I, I mean, I mean get for, 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 for TV purposes yeah but i'm just saying as far as like her purpose in in, in the show you gotta understand like there was two moments where it's she rigged. he was not there, doing there, there, there were there were there were two there were two moments where she could have prevented or stopped the original part which her when she first go get may leaves and they leave and the second time was when at the beginning of the season where damon was like go get may leaves i'm gonna go get Carixis, and we gonna go fuck shit up and she was like, Caraxes. Yeah, Caraxes. And she was like, if you were a king, I, I, I'd listen to you. Yeah. Fast forward, Damon's off doing his shit at Luigi's Mansion. Shit's going awry over yeah, here. He's out there tripping balls. Yeah, shit's going awry over here. She had the opportunity to go. I'm not saying she was going to necessarily go like I'm going to go planning on dying, but she was going like I'm planning on fighting. I'm not, yeah. I'm not running from the battle. Like, I'm going to go meet him. Yeah, I know what's going on. I'm going to go meet them. She didn't, and when she but seen nobody him, knew that Vagar was there. No, nobody knew. Nobody, that. nobody, nobody. When nobody, she went, she did not she, expect another dragon went, to be there. So look, let so alone she, two dragons. So when she went, so she, but she wasn't worried about though because Maylee's packed that nigga up early, ripped his stomach open, there, and he was fucked up. So it was Sunfire. I think it was like Sunfire. She wouldn't worry about it. And, and the thing about Sunfire, Sunfire is not even a fighting dragon. Sunfire is a gold, beautiful show dragon. Like Sunfire wasn't even supposed to be out there. Sunfire never seen anything of battle before. So Sunfire got out there because and got fucked up. Just to the king. He's like, bro, you're, you're not even supposed to be here. You're not even supposed to be here. You're a golden boy. You're supposed to be here for show. It's the front. same shit. That's crazy, And got bro. fucked up. So... Boom, she go out there at Maylee's, she do her thing. She realized Vagar's there. She could have left. In her, in, her mind, in her mind, she's like, nah, her and Maylee's, they made eye contact. She said, let's go, let's get it, old girl, one last time. Like Jose that, and they both, and they both, and they both kind of agreed, like, let's get it. And you know, and your dragon's in tune with you. So if you with the shit, your dragon normally with the shit. And and her and her melee is they locked eyes like all right if you if you down I'm I'm with you, and yep. they went out there and they banged it out and she lost, but she did she she held her own with Vagar bro like oh, she really oh, did oh, some, she really oh, some, did because no she's faster she was more cunning yeah but Vagar just being so much big so big bro and even more so like one thing that I didn't really like fuck with was the way they had uh Vagar kill kill her in that in that fight because it was just like if Vagar's that big there's no way that big ass dragon was hiding down in that small little cove and just had all the flight power and everything like we watched this dragon take off twice yeah during that whole fight sequence it took so much and so long for this dragon to take off yeah. but then when you show when they shows her like coming through and she's going over top of the kingdom like towards the end towards the water now all of a sudden you get Vagar just come out out of nowhere out of this small little cove yeah. and just 
grabs her, takes her up in the air, and it's just like, bro, what the fuck? Like, if that's how y'all was going to do it, like, we could have did it a little bit better. But that was the only thing to me out of that whole sequence that just didn't really make sense or, you know what I'm saying, seemed like, seemed like they could have did better. Because it was just like, bro, we see the beach floor, we see the bottom, and we know that 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 ground is not that far from the top of the kingdom that she's mm -hmm. fought, she's flying over. So there's no way she would have not seen Vagar sitting over there in that cove. Yeah. Because they well, Maylees was already fucked up. So yeah, Maylees, Maylees, she was, but Maylees was fucked up. You still, and there's think, no way that she goes. And I think, and I think it shows just how big Vagar really is. Like Vagar is like five dragons bigger than what May Lee's is, you know? Because you ever seen like, battle tested? Battle like Vagar, Vagar is yeah. huge. Like, 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 like yeah, but Vagar so found... big it, it can't fit in the kingdom. He nigga has to lay down the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to ride a horse to we, go kill him. That, that from the latest episode, <laughs> and they said it, but they, they never showed it. Yeah, yeah. But to actually see, like, but I mean, we well, that nigga's see, outside. We got to see this dragon's like vast, like. Size, ability, yeah. And in the books, it said that like, uh, if he, uh, she had flown over a kingdom once, and they thought it was like a solar eclipse because she blacked out the sun. Yeah, like her body and wingspan blacked the sun out completely, and they compared it to a solar eclipse. So that's the real, true, vast, like how broad and big of a dragon this dragon really is. Yeah, but. We got to see it for the first time because we see it fly over and we see the shadow and everybody like stops fighting because everybody's like in awe, just like, bro, what the fuck? Man, what the fuck is like, that? Like, what the fuck is that? Who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> but then, bro, try to kill his brother. Yeah. Then it's just like, bro, like, what yeah. the fuck? That's like, why, but that's why he really, he, he was about to go finish the nigga. He was. He was about to go, and, and luckily Cole pulled up because he was about to. He Cole was about a bitch to, ass nigga though. Yeah, I don't fuck with Cole, bro. Cole a bitch he, ass. And you wonder why? You wonder why he a hoe, bro? Is because he was fucking with Renea, and Renea was like, bro, like I got it good. I'm about to run the, you know, I'm about to be the, the queen. I'm about to be running the kingdom. And he was like, I'm not gonna be the the, the queen's whore. Da 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 da. Then you leave. You go fuck with the other side. You go fuck with Allison. And she ain't even the queen, and you fucking you eating hot medieval coochie, like bro, like you just doing all this shit. And ain't it's that like, boys, daddies, anyways. No, that's the other dude. Uh, he he's dead. Yeah. He died. No, okay, the other okay. dude, the black guy, she was fucking with. But I'm saying, like, I'm like, bro, you could, you really could have been know. fucking with. He's dead. They did. I'm talking about the bastard. Her they bastard did. sons. Yeah, they did. It's those not wasn't the. Those wasn't not his cold. kids. It's not cold. Yeah, it's not cold. It's the other dude. It's the other dude. But it was another dude. The black dude. And they said that's how they... Uh, well, not him. They said that's how his dragon was able to yeah, be clean. Yeah, those are two different kids. Because those are the kids that had the blonde hair. The youngest. No. Her, the ones with the dark I'm hair. I'm talking about Rhaenyra's, the black. Rhaenyra's Yeah, kids. she has she has multiple kids. I'm saying the two with the dark hair. One of them dead. One of them's dead. And, and, yeah. uh, Jace is still alive. Their dad's dead. Not the black nigga. Their other, her other kid that she had. She never had any kids. Well, with she the didn't black have no niggas. kids. She wasn't even fucking the black right. dude. She didn't have no kids because he's right, right, right. The other kids are Damien's kids, but though the Jace and his other and the other boy, those are, yeah, and that's those why those the whole dead. rumors and that's how all that shit spread because they were looking at it like, yo, I don't understand how two silver haired people can supposedly be having kids and y'all they don't look nothing like neither one of y'all. Yeah. They look, like, like they look like this nigga. Yes. <laughs> look like him. Yeah, everybody knew it, but they just weren't saying nothing because it's, you know, it's taboo. Like, you don't want to yeah. speak on that and you don't want to get your tongue or your head cut off. So, and, bro, that one black dude, he's like, she's a whore. Bastard. Damon cut that nigga head clean off. Bro, clean off, bro. Splatter. My ass look like that. Anyways. But, damn, bro. What else we gonna hit on, bro? We don't we don't be here for an hour. The Olympics, real quick. Olympics, okay. Yep. Well, I mean that's perfect. Simone Bowles. Shout out to all the Olympians, man, out there fighting for gold, silver, bronze, trying to bring that shit home. Shout out to everyone. Uh, we know and we always knew, you know, what I'm saying gymnastics that was gonna be taken over by you feel me, uh, led by Simone Bowles and everything, and. She's been doing her thing. The other Olympians have been doing their thing as well. Well, her her fellow, uh, I guess you could say, gymnastics co-star. 
Yeah. I really don't even like to say co-star because it's like they He's all teammate. yeah it's teammate. teammate. That's teammate. that's the better teammate. phrase because it's like the they all in their own right deserve and fought to be there, bro. That the one dude from a uh, from America who's like on the men's gymnastics teams, bro. I was weak as shit because they they were showing him like walking up to do like the uh, the the two bars on the beam. They call it, like the pony. Yeah, I know what you're yeah, yeah, yeah. Bruh, as soon as he went up and he was about to hit that motherfucker, bruh, they, like I watched this TikTok video and she was like, it's giving Peter Parker. Oh, <laughs> I fuck? was weak as shit. It's giving Peter Parker? Bruh, because he, he, he wears the thick square glasses and they black and he's thin. So he did look like the amazing Spider-Man, bruh. Bro, really I'm did. tripping, bruh. You said Peter Parker, bruh. Why you think, bruh, tell me why I started thinking of Peter Griffin. <laughs> nigga said, I saw all I can imagine was fucking my nigga Peter with the white button up and the green pants walking up to that bitch. <laughs> no, about, nigga. Said about, it's hey, Lois, watch this. And <laughs> hey, Lois. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you, Quagmire. <laughs> but, uh, you said uh, her fellow or like previous teammates. Yeah, like one of her. One, one, no, nah, so one of one of her one of the former teammates. I can't remember her name. I didn't bro, hear. But she was on. That. She was on the twenty twenty team, and uh, she posted how she felt like the girls now were um, lazy, you know, and just you know not as good as the twenty twenty team was. So yeah. Simone and them, they go out, they win, they get gold. So they post, you know. Lazy Olympic champions type shit. Simone does. So old girl, you know, she gets mad. She blocks everybody, you know, because she's upset because she people got on her ass because you said some shit and now it's egg on your face. Like you're not on the team no more. These they, they better than you. Simone's still here. Like, and even if they even if you're not on the team no more, like you Simone, you would imagine Simone would be at least a decent friend to you, or you consider that. And for you to talk, talk trash on her and her teammates, it's like, nah, bitch, fuck you. So um, there was a little there was a little beef going on for about two days about that. Um, I the only thing I really do want to talk about, bro, for real, is is this this three on three basketball shit got me hot, bro. Yeah, it got me hot. It got, it got me. It got, it got me hot for a multitude of reasons, bro. And I'm the women. I'm gonna give them a pass because they missing Big Brink. Shout out to Cameron Brink, but she yeah, tore ACL. Shorty, for some they, reason they, she's not there either, which I haven't heard. I don't know why, but. Uh, uh, our sister, the 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 queen, she she wears the braids. That's got all the colors in them and stuff. She went to Car- she went to South Carolina. She's now in the WNBA. She was supposed to be on that team as well. Yeah, but she's not part of the original three. The original three is number five, Haley Van Liff and Cameron Brink. They had won in the worlds and they played in the Olympics before. Brink got hurt. And so when Brink got hurt, they try to pivot, figure some things out. Blase, it's a new blase. team. It's like family. It's, 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 Haley's it's, out there by herself with a bunch of people. So look, the men's, I'm not mad at the women. I get it. They going through injury shit because Brink just got hurt. But the men's, I'm not going to lie, bro. Jimmer Fredette's cool, but he, why are we sending Jimmer Fredette and two Costco employees to play <laughs> In the Olympics for the American three on three, bro. Like they losing to Latvia, niggas is losing to Germany. Like they they in last place with three on three basketball, bro. And I get it, it's three on three basketball, but then the day is basketball, bro. And it just makes me mad because Ice Cube was trying to do this. Like there was years ago, I think right before COVID, Cube was like, "I'm expanding the big three. We're going in and out." Matter of fact, they had a conference. I think it was in China. Bro, they would have a big three in China where they were going to do the same thing that they did in the big three in America and the States. They were going to do a big three in different countries. And then at the end of the year, do like a world big three champion. All of the champions were playing a tournament to see who is the best three on three team in the world. And, cool. and, if I, and if I'm not mistaken, bro, I feel like the NBA along with FIBA and some of the other basketball agencies, I think they stepped on Cube's idea of having a, a worldwide Three on three league, like they stepped on it, bro. Because you got to think, bro. It's basketball, so like when you're doing a basketball league like that, involving former players and Americans and stuff like that, you need you need the NBA to back you to a certain extent, or you yeah. need the NBA to not block your opportunities. Right. So the NBA was blocking people from working, like 
like companies, TV channels, networks from working with the big three. It's like because the NBA wanted to step on that product. And I think fast forward now, we get to the Olympics. What this this is the product that we're putting out here. No disrespect to Jimmer for that. He was a hellified bucket in college at BYU. Yeah, but that's five he, on five. Yeah, he you barely was hanging on to the league. And he's he's Jimmer has hooped in the three on three shit before. I just feel like it's so much better talent that we could put in the three on three, and Jimmer can be a part of that. I would love to see a Joe Johnson. Um, I would love to see a a, a, a goddamn Jeff T. I know Michael Beasley go through his shit. I, I, a, a Michael Beasley. I'm not saying he has to, but I'm saying talent wise, we have guys a Frank Nitty. Like, bro, we have guys that we can put on this three on three stage who would hold it down, bro. Hold, I'm talking about we should not be in basketball. We should in basketball nothing. It could be basketball carnival ride jump shots, bro. America should never be in last place of anything basketball related, bro. I do not care what level, what game. If it is a basket, if it is a basket and a hoop, America should never be in last place, bro. Like that shit is, that shit is mind boggling to me. Like, bro, that's a, that's like when we send the, the with the flag football shit starts in twenty twenty eight. That's like us going and doing the flag football and America losing. What the fuck? And then we look up and they done sent four, they, they done sent 15 high school kids. Like, bro, why are we not sending Jamar Chase, Tyreek Hill, CJ Stroud? Like, why are we not sending the dogs? Like, what are we doing? It's seven on seven. It's flag like football. Seven, seven, on seven. seven on seven, like flag football shit, bro. So that's like, imagine them, like, imagine us being like, bro, we can send some college niggas. No, the fuck, we can't. We got to send the best DBs. I'm not saying, I'm not saying they got to be. The best players, but they need to be NFL so the players. Next Olympics will have flag. Twenty twenty eight is gonna have flag football. Hey, I've seen them motherfuckers power walking, bro. That shit was throwing me left bro. on the in the Olympics. Yeah, that was weak as fuck. <laughs> was it old people? Uh, Seventy five and people, up, young people, bro. It was just like, uh, and they was, it was moving like they bruh, all getting it, bro. And I was just weak as shit. I was like, bro, I can't even believe this is like a thing now. And I know you think you uh, could compete in that cornhole. You think you can compete in that? I, I I don't see it before if it's not already uh not already a uh something that they doing in the Olympics. I know it's it's you can look up during the summertime, bro, and it's on Sundays at on ESPN, bro. So that probably won't be long before power cornhole. walking, cornhole. Oh, I about to say, bro, they got power walking on TV. Nah, that'd be sick. Actually, I have seen it. Hey, I know like some, when they get ready for like the Olympics, they they might like show highlights. Hey, I know, highlights I know some old motherfuckers that would hey, they hold it down with that power walk, bro. That hit, motherfucker be out there they scooting. Hit, they bro. hit that mall, they get scooting. loose. They be scooting, walking right past your chest. I was saying that to say like you got the you said flag football. I was like it won't be long probably before cornholes uh, in that same category. It probably I wouldn't be surprised in the next four years if cornhole wasn't already going to be. Yeah, possibly. I mean, it's it's an, uh, the Olympics is, is growing, bro. You got to think like it's so many different games and they're they're expanding. And I remember when rowing used more, to be the, a big deal. The, in the, the, more, the more participants you have, the more people you have watching, the more the more categories. Like it's growing. It's a growing thing. Like I'm, I mean, I'm pretty sure twenty thirty there wasn't no three on three basketball 10, 15 years ago in the Olympics. Like Probably that's something that's fairly new. Like. There's things that have been fairly new. I, one of my favorite things that I've seen in the Olympics before we get up off of it, uh, I can't think of the turkey guy's name, bro, but it's a turkey shooter, bro. This, that turkey shooter sounds crazy, but Turkish, Turkish shooter. That sounds like uh, more crazy. He, he, was in, he was in the shooting competition, bro, and uh, I wish I could remember his name. Matter of fact, I'm going to look it up real quick, but this nigga, bro, this nigga showed up to the fucking, damn, I can't, hold on. Motherfuckers <laughs> <laughs> put in three different colors. Bro, I, bro, I, bro, I was. I, I, bro, and you gotta have face ID on your shit. I don't do that shit, bro. I, I do. I just one thing I don't do. I don't do the face shit, bro. I think that is crazy. I know. I know we're getting there, but from a personal, as a personal preference, that is crazy to me. So I could never have your put my phone. Recognize your face. You don't gotta make that face. No, but I'm just saying, like head ass shit, bro. Like I just can't. 
that's just nah, bro. I can never do it, bro. I, I, I could. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I guess, brother. Hold on, man. I, you know what I mean? I can't even spell Turkish right. Hold on, Olympic. You all right? And I'm fucked up. Uh, let me see. All right, so it's Yusef Diacek. Yusef Diacek. Okay. So, bro. So, okay. Oh, you talking about the the, the shooting the gun? I- for the- Yeah, dog. Of, of them shooting, they got the glasses. No, but a picture of him. No, 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 bro, bro. This is him. Hold on. This is him in the competition. That's him, bro. Bro, what's the what's the dude that was in the movie with Queen Latifah breaking all the rules? Steve was it Steve? Was it, what's his name? Steve? Steve? <laughs> I know you're talking about. It's not Steve Corral. No, it's not Steve Corral. But you talk about the black dude who was trying to holler at Queen Latifah. No, I'm talking about the white co-star. The oh, one that had nah, the fan. He looked more glasses. like the he looked more like the black dude that was that was trying to be black in that movie. But Zeb is white. I'd but I know who you're talking about because he was in Cheaper by the Dozen. Yes, and him, all that bro. Shit. American Pie Daddy. My uh, the daddy on American Pie. That's so we're talking about the same dude, yes. but that's not he was not the co star in that movie. And breaking all the rules, yeah, or is it bringing the house down? Bringing the house down, that's what I mean. Bringing, bringing the house down, regardless, bro. This nigga showed up, rolled out, got up off the couch, hand in pocket, pistol, regular reading glasses, yeah. one shot. I'm gone, Eugene Levy, yeah, him. So, but bro, that's one of the craziest things that I've ever seen, bro. And like, he's a star. At first, I thought you were talking Steve Martin. No, no, no. But I'm saying like, but bro, he's a star, bro. Like, he didn't get first place. He came in second. Yeah. So nobody gives a fuck who won go. But it's just the fact that he showed up with none of the other. So shit, if he had the shit, he might have. He might have came in first. For sure. Because if he went out there and just pointed. Nigga shot it off the hip like he was like it was Gears of War, just bow and walked off. Like nigga, nigga nigga, one shot. Nigga nigga, nigga perfect shot the target and left, bro. Like, no, he's he really, he really did some hitman ass shit. Like, like, bro, they went to him and said, We got one more job for you. He's like, What is it? They said the Olympics. He said, This is the last time I'm ever using a gun and I'm never using it again. They said, they said, just don't lose. He nigga, said, okay. Nigga got second and went home, bro. <laughs> he got second, didn't give a fuck about nothing else, bro. And he became a star, bro. One of the most. That's going to be the picture of him standing there with his hand in his pocket. His hand in his pocket, bro. Looks like I don't give a fuck. If I hit, I hit. If I don't, I don't. Hand, I think the hand in pocket adds to it because it's like one thing for you to. Bro, it does add to it. But the hand in pocket is like. Because uh, that's mean, like not tying your shoes on the court. Yeah. I don't respect you niggas at all. <laughs> I'm not taking my hand out my pocket at all. Michigan, uh, Denar ago. Robinson. Yeah, he never tied his shoe. Never tied his shoe, but that's why he, he didn't make it. Cleats. That's why he didn't make it in the league because he was an idiot. But I think that is a flex. Yeah. That's like, and you didn't win. You came in second, so he did. He won, but he came in second. He didn't get gold, but he came in second. You know how bad I would have been, like if I would have showed up properly prepared and everything. All the shit, all the gets, and and you. And then I go out there, bro, and I miss by like just a little bit. But this nigga with his hand in his pocket comes up with his hand in his pocket and 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 walks off. Walks off with silver, bro. What am I doing wrong, bro? Am I trying too hard? Like what, (laughs) bro? Maybe I should try. Maybe I should try less hard. Mad, yeah. Bro, he's literally, even if you won gold. That's Michael Jordan. You, bro, even, bro, even if you won gold, bro, you feel like that nigga just, he just stunning on me. Because nobody's talking about me winning. He's a star, bro. That nigga came in, he came in second and he's, he's the talk of the town. That's like some Gladiator Maximus shit. It's like. Talk of the town, bro. It's like, like, bro, what bro say? He's like, if we kill him, he's a hero. If we let him live, 
He's a hero. This yeah. is, it's a lose lose. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Like, what am I supposed to do with him? What am I supposed to do with this situation? Like, I'm making it as hard as possible so that he dies in the arena and there and fans, people move on from him. Mm-hmm. But, like, it's like the more I throw at him, the more he wins and the bigger and more spectacular he wins. Mm-hmm. It just is what it is. So, like, in that aspect, it's like, bro, the less you put on, <laughs> the less you do. The bigger a deal you make, man. It's just like, it's a bro, fact, bro. It's like, damn. And he and it's it's clear he practices without this shit because he that's what he does, bro. To just walk up, hand in pocket, stepping up next. <laughs> Hitman number. I mean, uh, Yusef Diacek. Yusef Diacek. And this motherfucker, he don't even come from like the side door. He comes, he he gets up from the seats in the bleachers. Seat. He walks. In. <laughs> he gets up from. The he's seats also a spectator. <laughs> and that motherfucker, he's like, I'm shooting here, shooting down there. Okay, got it. Let me get comfortable. Hand in pocket. Bah. And then just and just leave. This Don't even stay for the results. Nothing, bro. Just, okay. I did, what, I did what I came to do. With an almost perfect score with his hand in his pocket. What if that was like he'd been stinking it up with like the, the eye shit, with the shit, all the gear and stuff, bro. Like he just been doing it. He was like, you know what? I made it this far. I'm just going to go out there and just, just wing it. Bro, the right only here. thing he had in was the little, the little ear shit that niggas wear when. uh The earplugs? That's the only thing he had. Everybody else had the big joints. Like. The, the Dr. Dre beat bitches. They had everybody else had he them shit. He old as shit too. Yes, so somebody's grandfather like that. Is somebody, that nigga went. That nigga went and picked up his grandkids after this, like from school. Like, bro, he's really bro. That that's one of the illest things I've ever seen, bro. So shout out to him. He said, "I gotta get back um, and let the dog out." Yeah, and <laughs> I leave. My wife's waiting on me. You got dinner. I'm going back home. But no, nah, uh, no, nah, that 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 that's that that's one. That's probably one of the highlights. Say for pineapple express. My wife made dinner tonight. I have to go home. I have to go home. Bro, I was just trying to go home and live his best life, bro. That whole movie. But anyways. Yeah. No, that was no, that was definitely a highlight of the Olympics, man. Shout out to all the Olympians competing. Uh, USA. Uh, the basketball team is looking like they're going to run away with this shit, hopefully. Um, elimination games are starting a couple days, I think. I think they are the number one seed for that. I think our only comp is going to uh, be Canada. Uh, the men's soccer, I mean, not the men's soccer team, the women's soccer team, um, they're doing their thing as well. Hopefully both of them, the, the women's soccer team and the men's basketball team and the women's uh, basketball team as well. Those, th- we should get gold in all in all three of those. Uh, we should be, especially the women's basketball. Um, especially, I don't know, I think women's soccer is definitely close and especially men's basketball. I think out of the three, I think our toughest games will probably be women's soccer I think the women's basketball, I think they have the easiest route. And I'm not just saying, like, I just think women's it's just soccer? that. I thought we got put out. No, the women's soccer is on the feet. I think the no, men's. No, the men. The men got put ass, out yesterday. The bum ass men got put out because they, you know. Yeah, they got put out yesterday. They, they, they boo-boo. But the women's soccer team is great. Um, but I think they have the hardest road. And I think road. they blew a lead, too. Like, they I think, were up. I think they... the women's soccer have the hardest road. I think the women's basketball has the easiest road and in the men's basketball i mean it is what it is but i expect them to to win they will be they will be tested they will have some close games some decent games but i think we, only we should never not is canada oh uh, depends man it depends this one go canada has the has probably the best bet if they are playing at their best but i mean jamal murray's been bumming it um it really just depends on if they are paying at their best i think honestly it's probably going to be uh France just got clapped by Germany. I think Germany, bro. Germany got some hoopers, bro. Yeah. Germany, Germany's not bad. I'm not saying that they're gonna beat America, but Germany's not bad. Like France is France has a very, very high ceiling, but they just got blasted by Germany. So it's like I I I don't know. Canada, ideally, yes. On paper, yes. Um, and, and I think that's the matchup everybody wants. USA versus Canada. I think that'd be the best game. Um, it just depends on how you know how shit happens in the in, you know once the elimination game start in a couple of days. Uh, but yeah, shout out to everybody competing in the Olympics. Hopefully, we got the most medals, the most goals when it's all said and done. Um, track and field has been a little underwhelming so far, but hopefully, it's going to pick up at the relays. It's going to be interesting to see how the how the medal count ends up. I think right now in swimming we've only got like six, yeah. six golds. But everything else we've been, 
Like, like I said, we got we got we got silver on silver on silver. Mm -hmm. But we've only got six golds. I think uh, Australia's leading these yeah, golds. Yeah, Australia they had seven. Yeah, I think Australia. And had I think in golds and like the totality of it, I think we got like twenty something. We've got the most. Yeah, out of everybody when it comes to swimming, but it's still just like you just used to seeing us in swimming, bro. And we we wiping the board in gold and silver. Yeah. But this year we wiping it in silver and bronze. Yeah. Which kind of is what it is. I mean, hey, yeah, you fight all you you train, and it's still early. Like shit, is. shit, that shit. Swimming's almost done with though, bro. Yeah, but I'm saying, but they still got a couple events left. Like it ain't like it's like it's over. I'm mean, like I said, Australia got seven, USA got six gold. So it's, yeah, but as far as right the men's, there. like it's not very much the men can do to bring home gold. It's all up to the women. Yeah. Shout out to all the ladies out there swimming, man. So. I mean, like that's just the truth of it. But then you look at the the men swimming, and it's kind of just like men swimming really hasn't been a topic of discussion since Rio. So it's kind of it kind of just is what it is. Was that sixteen? Yeah, that's a long time. So, I mean, it is what it is, man. Because yeah. I mean, you look at the Tokyo Olympics and Katie Dodecky. I mean, she kind of. in it the 1500 uh she took gold and i think the 1200 she took gold she just won the 1500 today we looked at that before we started started the show so that was pretty cool to watch but i mean as far as male swimmers for the united states of america and the olympics i mean if you're a swimmer are you out there chances are man you could be the next phelps man you could be That's the next fact. dressler uh, that that swimming team, bro, from two thousand eight all the way up to maybe twenty sixteen when Phelps when it was Phelps last run, yeah, down in Rio, like that swimming team was elite. Them men did not come back with less than silver. Nah, well Phelps wasn't gonna let you do that. Yeah, Phelps was, but I mean even in individuals too. Yeah, no, that was a like that was a and individuals, time. man. Phelps only did, uh. I want to say breaststroke and I mean, not breaststroke, uh, butterfly. I think he only did butterfly, but, and I know he competed in the medley, yeah. which was all of, all of them. And then he did all the relay medleys. He did the freestyles and all the, all the relays he competed in and shit like that. But it's just like from like maybe, maybe even before 08, honestly, but all the way up until 2016, man, the men's and the women's, too, they would kick ass. But from 2016 to now, it's like the men's swimming is definitely taking a dive. It most definitely is. What's interesting, though, bro? I, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for the Olympics. Uh, I expect us to, like I said, have the most medals. Has Hope ever? the most gold. No, nah, I tracked no, the start. Noah Lyles? Yeah. He lost. He lost? I think all that shit talking, Noah. Sure. All that shit. He was All that world championship talking, Noah. Yeah, he was feeling himself. Now you, now you. I low key felt the you, same way about Shakari. Loza, Loza. I feel Loza. Like Shakari really hasn't. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> Shakari really hasn't been talking shit, but I just feel like she's had like this, like. Any, like I'm, this is like where I'm, I was supposed to be. Yeah. And I mean, like, and, and it happens. And, it happens. And, it's, and and I get her having that mindset and that mentality, but it was still just like. Down a nice slow, baby. Yeah. No, no, no. But that, I, I, I don't, I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem with anyone you up there. feeling that type of way. Like I said, when you, when you run an individual sport like that, and you putting up the numbers, and you running the way you run, and talk your shit, do your thing. I just think that sometimes you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta make sure. Motherfuckers don't do that. You gotta make sure you on your, you gotta make sure you on your A game when it really matters. So I get it. You 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 don't want to be running your best when you're doing to the Olympics. Are you doing these world these world uh, championships? You don't want to be running your best in February and March. And I get it. It was raining. When it's, when it's, uh, so. And like I said, like I said, we watched it. I I felt like she had a. I felt like she got out of the blocks a little bit too slow, but I also felt like she never picked up her head. She didn't pick up her head just towards the end. And I think if she would have picked up her head and realized like. Like like no, you really need to pick it up because Shorty is gone. Like yeah. she was out of there. She never was not in first. 
And but I think that's the difference too. Like she's never really raced against somebody that tall, that strong, that fast, yeah. and that big of a stride. She, like, I mean, it, 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 it all plays a factor. Bro, she was, she probably had about six inches on Shakari. No, it plays a factor. It, it, it definitely plays a factor. But but again, you she looked she she, was, she, she didn't run her best. Like I've, we've yeah. seen Shakari run better than there that. she is, Sydney Sydney McLean. Yeah, like McLaughlin. Like, McLaughlin. You know, we've seen. I don't know why I said McLean. I just assume I saw the MC and said McLean. But uh, but no, we've seen Shakari run and perform better than that. Like I said, it just wasn't a good. It wasn't a good run by her. Like she still got the silver, but peak Shakiri, like if she ran as good as she's supposed to be, as as capable as we know she can, she gets that gold. I just I just feel like it's she just didn't have it just wasn't her day. I think if she runs that I think if they run the same race ten more times, yeah. Shakiri's coming in first. Yeah. I just I just think that was the instance where she just didn't she didn't run how she was supposed to run. Um But yeah, bro, I think that's enough for that. Uh What's got to relax, man? I ain't out. got nothing, man. I really don't. Uh, Things cope steady with me. I think people should do their due diligence when you're doing something outside for somebody. Like uh, cutting somebody's yard. I think you should confirm that you're at the right address. Like, I think you should always, hey, there's a mailbox. Let me make sure it says the right address. Or, hey, there's a car in the driveway. Maybe I should knock on the door and say I'm here. So they can say, hey, we know you're here. Thanks. And if you're at the wrong house, they say, hey, bro, wrong house. You know, uh, I just think we live in an era where people kind of just, they just do shit, bro. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't have too, too much to say. But um, I, I definitely, I definitely, <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro. Yeah, let's pack it up, bro. We gotta go, bro. She said. Oh man, it's been it's been <laughs> it's, oh, it's been another no, 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 bro. If I, bro, it's been another episode of the You Gotta Relax podcast, bro. You gotta turn I, off. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> it's been another episode, bro. I'm your host, Drizzle. It's my dog, Sunny, and we out. Peace, hey, man, peace. She lost her fucking mind, bro. She just touched me. I'm outside. You got me sitting in the ghetto. They don't think I'm buying drugs. What? They just come in. Uh, yeah, that's your wife.